Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And here we have a little treat for you. We have... Does anyone know what that is? Oh, hang on. I'm sure you all do. This is... What is it? What does it say? It says a Blizzard PPC Phase 5 Digital Products 1997. Carter, Keller, Nabel, and Zhang. Um, and this is VP2398. Uh, I presume that means produce second of the third, 98. So this is a 1998 Blizzard PPC. It is a MC68060. Uh, and under there, there's a 300 megahertz IBM power PC. So this is a dual processor card uh, created by Phase 5 in Germany and they were popular well, reasonably popular um, Amiga third-party uh, hardware developers in the 1990s. Um, it has two sims in there 72 pin sims and they are I'm told 128 megabyte each. Um, for some reason, it has a 66 megahertz oscillator and a 60 megahertz oscillator. So whoever owned this card has been trying to overclock the uh, 68060. But I used to do it. I used to clock them up to 75. As a, as a rule of thumb, really. Um, so a little bit of history about Phase 5, for those who don't know, I'm sure most of you do. They were a third party developer based in Germany. Uh, they developed, I think, CPU cards. I think that's all they did, CPU accelerators. Um, uh, upgrading from the Motorola 68000, which was quite pedestrian by the mid-90s. Uh, mid in fact, it was pedestrian by the late 80s, in truth. But anyway. Um, they usually had um, an accelerator CPU and RAM on board. Uh, some of them had SCSI controllers. I think this has a SCSI controller, or does it go to a SCSI board? I can't remember. I used to have one of these years ago, and then I knew all about it, but I've forgotten. Far too many nights out to remember such things. Um, but I know you can still download the firmware. And what I will do is I'll flash this card to the latest revision. Um, I should power it, obviously, in the Amiga 1200. It is a 1200 card. So it's an AGA based um, Amiga system. It uses two CPUs. One CPU is a 68060, which is many times faster than the original Amiga 68000. Uh, and it uses the second CPU in the operating system. or uh, for games or programs that require it. It's not a dual processor system, even though it is a dual processor system. It either uses one or the other. What it does is it will use the 68060 in the operating system and for software that needs it, and then it will switch to the IBM, P uh, IBM Power PPC processor when uh, what 5 instructions are required. I think that's right. Or something like that, anyway. Um, deleted. It was a bit of a kludge. Um, when the Commodore collapsed, the Amiga was outdated really. And Phase 5 entered into some kind of agreement where they were going to make PowerPC hardware. And Amiga OS was going to be rewritten to support it. That never happened. So Phase 5 had to create their own software to run it. And it was Power Up and I think Warp 3D did the 3D graphics. I meant power up when I said before. Um, so yeah, so it is a. It was still a multi, say, a multi, um, uh, multi-tasking uh, kernel, uh, Warpos that they used. Um, but it was a bit of a fudge. You had to download the drivers from Amiga OS. It kind of worked. Eventually, it worked okay. Initially, there was quite buggy and didn't work that well. But as the years went by it became pretty good. But, but initially what they wanted to do was rewrite Amiga OS but that never happened. I think they fell out and there was some kind of legal bull. I don't know. Can't remember now. 
This is the era of the QNX software and the new iOS. Hold. One day I'll do a video all about that, but I just can't be bothered now. It just makes my headache thinking about it. Um, but um, anyway, in 2000 they filed for liquidation and they collapsed. The company went under in mid-2000. Um, they were bought by DCE. Um, they bought the IP and the licenses and all the rest of it. Um, and I think DCE, DCE carried on for a year or two after that. Um, and that's about it. Until probably last year, or was it the year before? when Phase 5 was supposed to be coming back. I don't think they did. They released the board, or someone released a board that didn't work. Lots of negative press, lots of name calling, and that's about it really. So anyway, so back to the card. Boom! Does it work? No! Well, kind of. Now I bought this card as faulty. I know it's faulty. It kind of works, but not really. Uh, what it does currently, it will boot up and the card works. It doesn't show up in the early start menu. I'm not sure whether they did or not. I think they should do. Um, it recognizes it has a 68040, not a 68060. But that's not uncommon if you don't have the right drivers in the libraries and all the rest of it. Um, the power P PPC side of it, I haven't tried. What it doesn't do at the moment, it does not detect any RAM. The RAM is not there. So it will boot into um, Meager OS. It will show it as an EC040, which it would because it has no libraries. And Amiga doesn't know what an 040 is. definitely doesn't know what an 060 is. It vaguely knows what an 040 is. Um, uh, but the RAM isn't detected. So the RAM is either faulty or the card is faulty. Now the first thing I'm going to do is reflash the card if I get time this weekend and then we'll see if the RAM comes back to life. Then I'll change the RAM. I have a bag of it somewhere. Various RAMs. The Blizzard is a little bit fussy with RAM. It does like 70 nanosecond or faster I believe if memory serves. Something like that. And it does like it in pairs. This does look like paired RAM. I don't know what make it is. Don't know when it was made, don't know anything about it. Can't see the writing, it's all faded. Oh, hang on. HJ. Well, that's a well known make of RAM that we all know and love. Not. Can't get the RAM back in, there we go. Now, the card itself physically is in superb condition. There's no marks, scratches, damages, or lumps missing. So I'm pretty confident that this can be brought back to life. Uh, I'll clean the edge connector and retention the pins. I'll clean the edge connector on my Amiga 1200 and I will run it on an Amiga 500 power pack. Uh, what I might do is couple it up to an ATX power pack I converted many years ago. Um, so that's it. That is another project. If any of you know why the RAM doesn't work, please let me know. Drop a comment. If anyone's got an Amiga OS uh, operating system on uh, on a card or something that they can fire over to me to save me installing mind-numbing amounts of drivers to get this bloody thing to work, that would be greatly appreciated. Even when I had my card years ago, uh, that did work properly, work completely well, fully, fully well, full of wellness. Um, I think I converted it from an 040 to an 060, if memory serves. Um, but I never touched the PPC. It was a slow PPC. It was a 233 one. This, I think, is a 300. Uh, but yeah, if anyone's got an Amiga OS, um, whatever, HDF or anything they can fire over, I'll burn that to CF, copy it to CF, and um, have a little play. But anyway, that's the Phase 5 card. I'll take some photos of it and stick it on either the beginning or the end of this video. But this this will be a little bit of fun. Someone's obviously been overclocking this and they've super glued the heat sink on there so it's got heat, uh, super glued blobs all over it which is a bit gross to be honest. But people are people aren't they? Uh, the edge connector there is for 
What's that for? That's for the SCSI card, the SCSI adapter. Oh, so it has SCSI on board then. Of course it does. Yeah, I do have a SCSI adapter somewhere. The cabling for that. Don't know where. I hate SCSI drives. I even hated them when they were new. But anyway. So that's the Phase 5 card. That's another little project. Um, yeah, we'll see how we get on. They're worth a ridiculous amount of money, these things. But anyway, phase five people. Bye for now.